Hello guys, what's up here? We're back with another Minecraft episode. Um, hello guys, welcome back. Today we have this uh, iron farm, as you can see. We just had two golems fall down and they go into the chest and we get... Uh, this is not what we're getting into one hour. It's more than one hour. Okay, I'm gonna explain it. So guys, this is our uh, uh, iron farm that we're gonna be building today. It's a great iron farm. And on medium, it will get you, if you're lucky, guys, you can even get to 470. But if you're really unlucky like me this time, I got uh, less than 400. So it's between 350, let's say, and 470 if you're like insanely lucky. So it's a great farm, to be honest, and it's not the hardest one. So guys, we're gonna be showing you how to build with all these steps. Uh, so yeah guys, let's stop talking and let's get into building. So guys, first thing, these are all the materials we need. Guys, make sure the blocks are not flammable. We only need two water buckets because we can make an infinite source. So guys, these are all the items. You can just take a screenshot if you want. So guys, first thing, go to an area uh, that is at least 200 blocks away from any village or any working station. Guys, first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna place our two chests like this, and place four hoppers going into the chests. And now guys, take your blocks, and we're gonna cover up these hoppers, as you can see here, guys, and go three blocks uh, up for now. And guys, above the chest, we're gonna put slabs so we can still open our chest. And guys, next thing, what you're gonna do, go put two blocks like that, put two rails on top of them, and we're gonna put two minecart hoppers like that uh, guys as you can see the, here I did a mistake don't push it so put it again destroy the two blocks like this and then you can put two rails on these two hoppers and you're gonna put our two minecart guys this is uh, too much minecart hoppers but this is just to be sure that we're gonna be collecting every single item guys next thing put some magma cubes uh, on top of that, not magma cubes, magma blocks, sorry guys. And then go another three blocks on top. So guys, you should end up with something like that. And now guys, next thing, what you're gonna do guys, we're gonna put buttons. Guys, make sure, make sure there are stone buttons. Because apparently it doesn't work with the... Um, with wood one because they're just gonna burn and guys uh, on top of the buttons we're gonna put four signs just like that and guys we're just gonna put lava on top guys now next step go uh, use your building blocks and I'm gonna build another square so guys after that we're gonna go seven blocks away so it should be eight in total as you can see guys here we're only seven so we're gonna add one more as you can see now it's eight including this block as well so guys do it for all the uh, all of the four signs so guys, you should end up with something like that. And now guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna attach these two sides like this, so we would have a new corner. And guys, we're gonna do it for all of these sides, and we're gonna fill it up so we would have a big square in the middle. So guys, you should end up with a square looking like that. What are you gonna do guys, go to the side like that. We're gonna add a block, and remove this one. And we're gonna just uh, do it around all of the square. So guys, uh, after you have that, we're gonna do the same thing, but with the slab, so you can put a block here another one here and now we're gonna do the same thing so just surround it around all of this so guys you should end up with something like that and now guys for the water you can just make an infinite water source because this is gonna require a lot of water so guys we're gonna put water in all of these uh, quartz block all around the farm like that make sure to not put down there or else you're gonna have some water falling into the hole and you don't want that to be honest if you didn't have any accidents you should end up with something like that and now guys we're gonna use any leaves and guys what are you gonna do go align the uh, farm with this hole right here and go to any side I'm gonna put two blocks like that and I'm gonna put four blocks on this side and four blocks on this side so we should end up with the ten blocks in total as you can see here as after doing that we're gonna go to the line here and we're gonna put trapdoors all along of this uh, line of leaves and make sure to open the trapdoors. As next thing we're gonna use a glass, uh, any glass block basically and we're gonna basically surround all of this farm like that as you can see guys here do the second layer as well. As you can get rid of these corners so you can save up on glass if you want. As next thing, we're gonna go shift near these trapdoors and I'm gonna put water blocks, uh, water in them. Guys, like that, make sure to shift and click the trapdoors or else you're just gonna open them and close them. So guys, after we've done this, do the same thing on the other side. So guys, as you can see, we've done it on both sides and now we're done with that. Guys, I really recommend closing this hole up for the next step or else you're gonna accidentally fall there. So guys, what we're gonna do now, go to this center block, we're gonna go three blocks up, remove the two bottom ones, and I'm gonna make a small platform two by two like that and make it one more block. So it's gonna be four by four and the plan is to get it to be six on six, another layer of blocks, and you have six by six square. So 
So guys, after we have the score, we're gonna extend two blocks like that, two blocks on the other side, and guys, this is gonna be our area for beds. So you can start putting them, guys, whatever color you want. I like the red color because it's just the OG. So yeah, just put any bed here, like I'm doing here, in the same pattern, please. Once you're done, just remove the blocks. I'm gonna go to these chambers and I'm gonna put a roof like that, guys, I forgot to do it, but make it out of glass and make it for the uh, two sides. I'm gonna start with villagers. So guys, I didn't tell you in the materials to bring 20 villagers because they're not material, I guess. <laughs> but whatever you're gonna do, guys, now we're gonna open and put a, a villager in every uh, hole, as you can see, of water here, so we can just place him. And we're gonna spam the glass box so we can put a roof on top of him like that, as you can see. As by the way, if you're in your survival, you can just use minecart or boats to transport the villager up here. Guys, other thing, we don't want any children in this farm because apparently child labor is, uh, isn't a thing in Minecraft. So guys, just make sure to not put nitwits and uh, children. So just put these normal villager in. And guys, as you can see, we have all of the villager in place. And now we're gonna use our um, labor table. So guys, you can use whatever um, working station you want. I'm just gonna use fletching table because it's not expensive at all. So we're just gonna put it down, break it, and we're gonna notice the villager that interacts with it. As you can see, that guy wants to work. Good, good for him. So guys, now just pick it up and put it next to him so he's happy and he can work all day. So just get, keep doing this. So place it down. See who has the particles. Is that dude over there? Just gonna pull, uh, press this black. Uh, we're gonna replace this glass with this working station. As you can see, guys. So just keep doing it until you give working stations to all of the villagers. Oh, guys, I just finished, and as you can see, my first golem just spawned. And now, guys, we're done with the farm, and now I'm just gonna... Oh, I don't know why I was doing that voice. I'm gonna give you more inform information about this. So, guys, uh, once you build it, we're gonna wait at least one full Minecraft day in order for it to start working for real. As you can see, we got two golems, actually. Yep, we got two golems. As you can see, guys, it is pretty cool, pretty easy to build, not that hard. Except for the uh, villager thingy, it's gonna be kind of hard. Uh, also, guys, it spawns cat. So free strings, but you gotta you gotta hear them die, which is kind of sad. But as you can see, it's free loot, so we take it. So guys, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it for today, you guys. We got this uh, cool, I guess, design. I don't know if you gotta call it cool, whatever. So guys, this is our design of the iron farm. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, guys, do whatever you want. You're a nice person, anyway. So, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked this simple farm that produces a lot of iron so guys yeah thanks for watching today's episode I hope you guys liked it if you did do whatever you want i did my outro again but yeah i have a hard time doing outro sorry it's been me monster bye bye